Hey, everything you need to know, man. It just went down Cincinnati, Ohio. Shit, motherfucking Adrian Broner. Adrian Granados. Very, very close fight. Grind it out. Grind it out. A lot of back and forths. Ebbs and flows, man. Shit, Granados came out strong. Real strong. I had him winning probably the probably the motherfucking first three rounds and shit. I had him winning. Shit, but A B, you know, he started to move just a little bit, started to get his check hook going and shit. Man, just had the sharper punches close in. It was really a grinded out fight, y'all. No knockdowns. Nobody was really hurt. Both guys was kinda there to be hit and shit. Uh Adrian Granados, he, you know, he was kind of swinging wild and wasn't really defensively responsible in the pocket. Looked like he was leaning his chin on motherfucking Adrian Broner's forehead at times. I mean, he didn't, he didn't bother ducking or playing D at all. Really, was just swinging. But shit, he was in the fight. But A B, shit, you know, A B looked like a, a few times looked like Adrian Broner. Was maybe great break from the pressure, but he stood in there, man. He stood in there. And going down the stretch, both guys was kind of motherfucking tired. But Adrian Broner had one last little flurry in the 10th round with short punches. Maybe maybe won the fight for him. Maybe won the fight for him. It was a split decision. It went to Adrian Broner and shit. But it looked like AB was just great. Hit that motherfucking wall. He was great. Hit that Amir Mom brick wall and shit. If it was two more motherfucking rounds, man, they was both sucking wins. Adrian Granados, he to me, he, he looked big. He looked about he, like he had maybe shit, maybe ten pounds on Adrian Broner. But I don't know why uh, AB said is he had to fight inside. And motherfucking Granados had a few spots in there early on where he was. Pumping the jab and moving, he was having success. But you know that that Mexican came out, that bravado being macho. He wanted to get in there, prove he could take a shot, prove he can land his own shot. Wanted to do a little grappling and wrestling, but shit, he had. I mean, he had. It. He had it. when he was moving around and pumping that jab. Man, he looked it good. He definitely. I think he better have better legs than A. B. Man. And A.B. even said he hurt his hand in the first round, so he had the motherfucking fight inside. He said, shit, if he had to fight outside, he could. He wasn't going to be able to do it. And maybe that was the success we were seeing with motherfucking Granado staying outside pumping that jab, but he just didn't do it. You know, he fell inside and started brawling, man, and it was, it was a close, close fight. Close fight. Granados even mentioned shit. Let's do the rematch, and motherfucker Chicago. It definitely was close enough for a rematch, but I don't think AB gonna do it in no motherfucker Chicago, man. Uh, these guys, you know, moving forward, they ah, uh, I don't know if they could really compete with the motherfucker, the top tier in the 147. I don't think I don't think Broner hit hard enough. His weight, his power ain't showed up as he moved up in weights. And Granados, he get hit too much. He do got hard, do got good stamina, but he just get hit too much, man. But you know, I guess they both got a puncher's chance if they gonna be in the 147. But shit, man, I don't I don't really don't see too much success, man, because it's it's some monsters moving up in that 147. Shit, man. What I want y'all to do right now, I need y'all to hit that subscribe. If you like this content, if you feel different, go ahead and leave a comment. It's always up for motherfucking discussion. You feel me? Share this video. Like this video. Do something. Hit subscribe. I appreciate you leaving your content and everything supporting the channel. Charles E's. Everything you need to know, man. Peace.